Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a video in like a month, so I apologize to you guys. If you're watching this and you guys had watched the videos from the Halloween collaboration, I said I was going to do a giveaway and I didn't do one and I apologize to you guys for that. Things have just been way too crazy and personally and I over tried to overachieve doing swaps and that didn't turn out too well. So I apologize to you guys. I will try and make it up to you guys for some maybe a couple Christmas giveaway or something. So this is going to be a Michaels haul and I got two things from Joann's in there. And my closest thing, my closest, um, Michaels and Joann's are two hours away. So my husband took me um, two hours away to Flagstaff where we live because we live in Arizona. He took me to Flagstaff. Uh, the weekend after my birthday so I could get some stuff and we could find some Halloween costumes because we like to go big on Halloween. So, look at these pretty nails. I think I did a pretty good job. They are just glue on. I didn't get them done or anything, but I did them for um, my Halloween costume. I was a peacock for Halloween when we went out to the casino over the weekend. But, yeah. So, I'm going to show you what I got from Michael's. A lot of this stuff isn't just paper crafting, it's just for my crafts in general because I make a lot of different things for my craft fairs. So we'll just get right into this. I'm a little off on filming. I haven't done it in so long. It almost feels new again. That's crazy. So anyways, the ribbon at Michael's was, I believe, 40% off. Um... Yeah, 40% off, so I only paid $6. And this is wired ribbon. There is 25 feet in here, and it's an inch and a half long. I'm going to use these, like I said, for making wreaths. This one's burlap, and it's wired. Super pretty, and they're 25 feet. And it was also $10, so I paid 6 for it. And when I went, um, they had a coupon, a digital coupon that day that was... 20% uh, uh, off your entire purchase, including sell items. So, pretty much I got everything that was on sale, which there wasn't a ton of stuff. I was kind of bummed, but I got 20% off of it all on top of the sale price. I got a couple things of deco mesh. This one is 12 inches long, or excuse me, 12 inches tall by 35 feet long. And then I got this behemoth of a green one here that's 21 inches tall and 30 feet long. We're going to give those a try. I'm new to playing with deco mesh, but I seem to really like it. And then I got these Christmas trees. There was 21 of them in the pack for $25. And I honestly can't remember if they were on sale or not, but I got 20% off anyways. So, all kinds of different sizes. And then, I had bought in, let me show you this really quick. This does not have to do with Michaels, but I broke my little trimmer. If you guys have watched any of my videos, I just had the little tiny trimmer that didn't even cut a uh, 12 by 12 sheet of paper in it. I dropped it, and I broke it, and I was really sad, but I was like, oh, well, that gives me an excuse to buy a bigger one. So I went to Walmart, and the only bigger one they had was this guy, which I was like, okay, I can handle that, but... On the blade, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a, a round blade. And I don't like it. I, and I thought it would cut like in here. But it doesn't. If you guys see that. Let me see. Can you guys see like the line right there actually on the thing? That's where it cuts. And I thought that was kind of crappy. And then there's such a big gap without any numbers. That I was having a hard time with my measurements and. Because you have to go from right there to over here for an inch. Or from right here to over here for an inch. And I just, and then I didn't like it. And anytime I would run my paper through to cut it, it wouldn't cut the first time around. And I'd go to pull it and it wouldn't be cut. And then I'd have to go back over and then I'd have like a cut line. And then if it was off, I'd have like a half cut score line. So yeah. I don't know if it's just because the blade's dull. I mean, it's brand new. The blade shouldn't be dull, but it doesn't feel that sharp, see? 
like, I don't know, didn't like it. So I told my husband that when we were in Michael's. So he says, we'll go ahead and go get a different one. And I was staring at the scoreboards and I was like, oh. So I finally, I went ahead and I got this one from Recollections. That's the trimmer and the scorer. And it fits a 12 by 12 sheet of paper in it. I need a bigger thing, you know, and it comes out. So I was like, yes, I got something that I can score with. Well, I'm left-handed. So when I try and do it, this flips the wrong direction for me. And there's numbers up here. But there's no numbers down here. So I have to use it upside down. And... The score thing is like loose and if I just run a piece of paper through it it doesn't score I actually have to like pick up the thing and like push on it to make it score so I don't know if if it's wonky if I just got a loose one if that's how your guys's are if you guys have one of these let me know some tips and tricks if I just need to see if I need to find a replacement one of these if that's just how they are if you guys like yours if you don't because I've seen people use them on videos and it seems pretty easy but I don't know but the blade cuts awesome it's just the normal blade like the one I had before with the little pokey thingy and I like that a lot better so my husband said well grab a couple extra blades because it's not like we can find those around our town so I got this and this was like 20 bucks, maybe $17.99. And then these were like $5. I also had a coupon for 40% off one regular price item. So I think that got used for it. Because the only other expensive thing I got was this, which was like $15.99. And it wasn't on sale. I went back and forth on whether I should get this or not. Because I both most of my stamps... Um, or the older wood stamps, but I have been receiving some in the swaps and stuff, some clear stamps, and I didn't have any blocks. So now I have stamps and no blocks. And so I got some of these different sizes, and I got the multi pack. That way I wouldn't have to really go buy anymore. So I figured that would be the best bet. Now I can't get it back in there. So it's got four different sizes in it. So we got that. And then, super excited. Oh, I got this. Let me show you this first. I got the Rose Quartz paper pad. It was 40% off, so it was like $11.99. Super pretty, super excited. Can't wait to use this. It's got foiling in it. The paper is really pretty. So, very, very excited about this and the cut apart. And it's just really pretty paper. So, I got that. And then, if you guys have been watching some of my other videos, you saw I tried to type out on the computer little sentiments, sentiments and cut them out and stuff. So, I had my own word phrases. While we're about ready to leave, I was looking for the clear acrylic blocks for the stamping, and I saw these hanging up on the top shelf. So I got super excited. They weren't on sale. I didn't care. I threw them in the cart. Well, I don't know if I just had a bad experience while I was shopping or what. There's supposed to be three black and three white. This was the only one on the hanging up. I got ripped off. There's only two white pages. So, I don't know. And the paper was, like, really thick. I was like, well, maybe it's stuck together. But every time I tried to pull it apart, I just pulled the sticky back off. So, I don't know if somebody helped themselves to a page. If it came like that. But I'm missing out on a page. And then I got this one. Oh, let's turn it this way so you guys can actually see it. There we go. And they're brown. And there's 295 stickers in here. It's a couple of pages. And it says that there's 295 in this one. So, score on that. The only weird thing is, I think this one said it was $2.99 and this one was $4.99. I thought that was kind of weird. But whatever. So, 
I think that's all that I got at Michael's. I could be wrong. Oh, I got my kids a couple things. They got some treasure chests and some different little things that they were going to paint. And then I went across the, the parking lot to Joanne's. And I got my mother-in-law some stuff over there. And the kids got some more stuff. I got two things. I downloaded the app really quick while I was in Joanne's. And I got, sorry guys, this right here. It's not the envelope punch. It is the gift box punch board. Can you guys see that? Maybe. So, it's got different dimensions to make a gift box. And I was playing around. This is what the gift box looks like on the smallest size. A six by six piece of paper makes a one and three quarter by one and three quarter gift box. So, this is what the gift box looks like. Just this little tiny thing. And it comes apart. See? Super cute, right? So I was playing with this to see what else I could do. Because I had... This one was the same price as the envelope punch board. $20. But I figured it'd be easier to figure out how to make envelopes on this. Since I could even make envelopes on my cutter. Than to try and make boxes on the envelope punch. Because, see, I did an envelope right here. And I was messing around with it. can make the bows with it just the same as the envelope punch board. My husband thought that was kind of cool. The only thing is, is on this side, it doesn't have rounded corners. It rounds the corner. But it puts the little notch in it so you can have come together. So I can't do rounded corners on that. But that's okay. It extends. And it's got a little bone folder. And I didn't have one of those. So that works. So super excited about that. And then lastly, I went and got myself finally a circle punch. Because when I bought this stuff in that um, envelope punch board, I got a coupon for 50% off a regular price item. So I just turned around and went back in really quick and bought this because these weren't on sale. And my husband said I should have got the other one, the kind that you push down on. And he's probably right. Because, like, the fifth time I used it, I broke it. It doesn't work anymore. See, watch, guys. When I go like that, it gets hung up and it doesn't go all the way through. And I can't cut out a piece of paper anymore. See, watch. I'll show you on my envelope. And you put it in, and you go through, it's broken. It doesn't cut out. So I don't know what I did. I tried it on a piece of thicker cardstock, and I don't know, maybe that's what was wrong with it. I don't know. So I did contact Fiskars already, and they said they're going to send out a replacement one or a replacement part, but I don't see how you can replace a part on this, so hopefully it's a whole thing. So, if you guys got any tips or tricks on using this, if it can't go through thick paper, let me know so I don't break the new one. So, yeah. So, that's my haul. Oh, look. And I made this with it, too. With the, in the gift box punch. I saw everybody making these with their envelope punch. And so, I didn't even measure. I just kind of guessed really quick and it worked. So, I can do everything with my gift box bo um, board that you can do with the envelope board. Super excited. But anyways, yeah. I broke my toy. I was very sad. But awesome that Fiskars is going to replace it. So that's my haul. I hope you guys have a great day. Hang around. I'm going to do another video in a minute. Thanks guys. Bye.